you guys, Jason Kirchie. What's up guys, Jason Kirchie here, Mr. Swell Runner at SEMA 2019 down here in sunny Las Vegas. And I have Barry with Expedition One. And actually in a minute, if we're lucky, I've got a super secret, awesome surprise for you regarding full size. But right now, he's got something super cool to show us. And I've never seen anything quite like this. It's pretty cool. Show us what you got, Barry. Yes, yeah, so I'd just like to uh, demonstrate a little bit about the Bare Bones Configurable Minimalist Trailer System. Minimalist because, as you can see, it's got one wheel, very lightweight. Configurable uh, because you can set up for different applications. Right here you see it set up as a sports trailer and an Overland sports trailer at that. But these uh, accessories here can come off and you can set it up for other applications such as dirt bikes, paddleboard carrier, uh, canoe, kayak, that type of thing. Some of the advantages to this are, first of all, it's small, small and petite and can store very light uh, in, in a very compact area, for example, in, alongside the car in your garage. Uh, has uh, a couple features here like a uh, air adjustable shock absorber system. You can inflate it for the load that you're carrying and if you have it properly inflated it makes for a very plush suspension. So it soaks up all the bumps back here, you don't feel them in the uh, driver's seat. It also has a lift mechanism here that allows the trailer to squat completely, which particularly comes into play with the dirt bike configuration because it picks up the dirt bikes. Where would you put the dirt bikes? So up here or? So it's a completely different configuration. It's I can show you a little. different configuration, okay. Yeah. Which oh. looks a little something like this. Focus. Wow. Interesting. Okay. Super kawaii. So is this, so does this, does, do these arms come out? Yeah, you can see that they go into a receiver tube right here. It's just pinned in there. Okay. So you pull that pin, that thing, obviously you take out the box first, right. pull this off. And that's also handy because for storage, you take the boxes off, take these out, rotate them 90 degrees, put them back in, and it stores about that wide. Right. So you can put it in your garage alongside your car where it's protected from theft and the weather. You're not taking up a whole car space. Exactly. Like your traditional trailer. So this is purely for cargo, but you're extending the ability to store and bring with you without adding a whole lot of extra weight or complexity because you've got a lot of ground clearance here as well. Do you have it on a, an, do you have it on an articulated hitch? So you if do. you look up here, a lot of people ask me why it doesn't tip over. So this is kind of the key of the system right here. There's a dual articulation link right here that allows the trailer to pitch and yaw, but not roll. Okay. Technical terms, basically what that means is it relies on the towing vehicle for stability. Okay. So it, uh, so it, it'll turn. So it can. Rotate about that axis, about that axis, okay. but it can't rotate about that axis. Got it. Yeah, that, I had a I had a max coupler on my turtle back, so it's a similar concept, right? It's locking. It's not going to come off the wall, right? Right. That's the idea. Interesting. Well, this is super cool. What do these things retail for? <coughs> so this one here with the uh, Overland rear end on would be around four thousand dollars. Okay. The uh, typical trailer tire wheel rear end would be significantly less than that. It's going to be a little bit less than that. Okay. Well, super cool. Once again, thanks so much, Barry. I really appreciate your time. My name's Jason Kirchie, down here at SEMA 2019. We'll see you guys in the next video.